this is the ultimate beach fishing setup. Got my electric bike from Hemiway. Got my two rods, rod holders, all the bait that I need, all the rigs that I need. We've got miles of beach to fish. Let's go! Oh, look! Oh, I see it on the surface right there. Oh, I'm on. This is something big! Hey! 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 Alright, this is everything we're gonna need. Brought two rods, two electric bikes, a cooler, basket full of my stuff. We're gonna strap it onto the back. And we've got miles of beach to just explore. Let's do it. Sinker. Good luck, Buddha. Wow, this is really convenient. These are our catch all rigs. You can catch whiting, pompano, small sharks, bluefish, redfish, drum, all sorts of things with this. Ooh, that's a big juicy one. We've got our own bait now, the salted stuff. This stuff will hold it on top down pretty tight. So we're gonna put some of the salted clams, maybe some of these neon shrimps. Perfect little bite right there. Perfect little bite. Look at the color, it looks like a sand flea. It smells like a clam. It looks like a cocina clam. So many things are gonna wanna eat this. I'm going to do the same thing, except the next one I'm going to put the pink shrimpy bits. And when you put this bait, this soft clam on, make sure you do it a lot of times so it stays on. These baits are really easily, like, castable. Like, they, they cast right off if you don't do it right. That's why I like to have some of our salted bait on top of it, because this will always stay on.
I want to use the bike as the rod holder. See if that would work. I think it'll hold it. Yeah, this is nice. Pretty convenient, actually. I knew I had a bite. I, I felt it from out there. Please be a pompano. Oh, it's a freaking catfish. Darn it. I thought it would be a pompano. I hate the slime it comes with. I don't think that they, I think that the slime attracts more catfish, so you gotta get it off. the rod out yet. So there's something biting here at least. Got two rods out. I hope we don't get another catfish, but who knows? Could be one of those days. The water's looking clear, so I'm hopeful that maybe some pompano will run through. If we get a few more catfish, I think we're going to move down probably. And it'll be easy to with the, with the Hemiway bikes. Yep, now we wait. I think that was a pompano Ben. Dang it, dang it, dang it. bites for a while. I mean, we got one catfish and one pull. I thought that was a pompano, but it could have been anything. There's not anything biting in like an hour. I usually move down a little bit, so we're going to move just past over there a little bit just to see if there's anything else biting in another hole.
I'm, I cast it right into a cut. So, if there's anything, I'll catch it. This one seems kind of strong. Oh, what the hell is that? Big blue fish. That's a big blue fish. Oh yeah. That's awesome! That's a nice catch! That's a good sized bluefish right there. I'm gonna keep this. It's gonna be either great bait or great to eat. And I'm in the mood for fish today. In my opinion, the perfect sized bluefish. On our clams, look at that. Our, our, our clammy bits. The only thing that could stay on. Yeah, I love this size bluefish. Really perfect size to eat for dinner for between you and me, Aaron. I casted that one far for that. I think I'm gonna do that again, cast it far. This is something big!
Man, that was far. Whoa, it's a big ladyfish. That's a huge one. Ladyfish. Great shark bait too. Great redfish bait. You can make fish balls. Keeping this guy. Now this is delicious, delicious meat. I love whiting so much. I hope I can catch more. Yes, they're starting to bite. This is the perfect size. The sweetest size. And I like to, I don't like to, but it's the most humane way. It's to kill your fish, not to just let it flop all, the, all over the place and suffocate to death. Just kill it, bleed it out, and then you know, put it on ice right away. That's pretty much how I do my fish. This, this is the worst part about fishing. Just one quick slice through the gills, and then it'll bleed out. It's a darn arse catfish. Not what I was wanting. I thought it was something different. Literally got catfish there. But out of all the catfish, this is a very nice catfish. I'll name you Macaroni Grill. Oh! Macaroni Grill. See your Macaroni Grill? Okay, like this. Like this. This is a cocina shell. This is totally alive. Very alive. If I put it down, you'll see it. Oh, you'll see it bury itself. There it goes. Oh, goodbye. Those are what fish love to eat around here in the little shells. I can see them. And I just love them because they're so funny. Burying themselves. Oh, oh my goodness. They're like whole colonies. I can't grab them because they're crazy. Oh, it's a sand dollar. Part of one. Oh, it's a full one. I wish I could find a whole one. That's my dream. Oh, here's another piece. Another piece of a sand dollar.
another big catfish. What a cat! Ooh, where'd you find that? On the ground. Is that for me? Yes. Thank you. I'm gonna make a necklace. Oh. Some earrings. Thank you. Thanks for caring. Well, that was another amazing adventure. I loved going down, up and down the beach, looking for new spots. It's so secluded here, and um, it's really nice because cars can't drive here. Only walkers and bikers. This is a really awesome way to get into beach fishing, especially if you don't like crowds and you don't like fishing shoulder to shoulder with people. You can come out here for some peace and quiet. That's my favorite kind of fishing. Believe me, I love catching fish, but I don't necessarily love catching fish when everyone is really aggressively trying to catch fish next to me. When I go fishing, I want to relax. I want to kick back, just relax, enjoy nature, and whatever fish I catch, it's going to be a great day. Some people out there love to go for those huge fish, and they love to go to these places where it's okay if it's a little more competitive, it's a little more aggressive because we're catching fish. For me, the only, the most annoying thing is the gulls are really loud and they steal my bait. And for me, that's that's not even hardly a problem. It was really awesome to just pack light and use the Hemiway bikes. All I needed to bring was a 10 pack of our, our hay skipper catch all rigs. And as you saw, we caught all sorts of different fish using that one rig. Anyway. The tide is coming up. The tide is coming up. The sun is about to set. I'm two fingers away. This is like 25 minutes before sundown. We gotta get out of here. We've got some fish to cook up. If you guys like our video, and you like our channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because every Thursday we post a new episode. If you guys want to learn more about fishing, check out our website, kscaperfishing.com. We sell all of our rigs. Ooh. We gotta move our stuff. <laughs> all right, come back. Check out our website. I recommend you get a 10 pack of our catch all rigs. You can do the same adventure. Get a 10 pack of those rigs, get some of our bait. The clam worked really well for us. Put it on, cast it out, you're ready to go. It's really simple. And on the back of the rigs, we teach you exactly how to use it, too. All right, guys, see you next week. I got to get out of here. The tide is coming in. See, you want to see what we got set up here? Hi, doggy. Check it out. Here's the spread. We've got our fresh fish. We've got fresh veggies, potatoes, pearl onions, eggplants. We've got New York strip steak. We've got some big jumbo wild caught shrimps. We've got two yakitori grills. And they're made of clay. And this clay keeps keeps all the, the coals very, very hot. So you get a really nice effect, charcoal cooking effect on your the chimney. Is it ready to go? No, but watch this. Look at this. So good. It's gonna be so tasty. Alright, let's put some veggies and stuff on the grill. Let's get cooking. 
I'm gonna put the fish on first just so I can get that cooking. Here's the whiting. Oh, this looks so good. And this is like a slow cook. It's not gonna be sizzling because we're slowly cooking this. This is the vegetable grill. This is the meat grill. Portobello's, what kind of mushrooms are these again? Enoki's. Enoki's, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want you to become one with the coals. I'm gonna make more coals just in case. <laughs> Why are you wagging your tail? Do you think you're getting something? That girl. Wow, this looks so good. You do so bit. this yakitori style grill is actually a, a very special way of cooking the meat because this is unglazed and because it's unglazed you can't leave it in the rain but also supposedly it radiates the heat back up so that the the meat becomes super juicy i can't wait mm, it's gonna be good really good look at the fish so we're cooking <coughs> this fish the the scales are still on and everything so that uh the skin and the scales will protect the meat from getting burned up this is a, a great way. It's called cooking on the half shell. And I like doing this over top of a grill so that the meat doesn't fall apart. Mm, it cheers. smells great. Cheers. The glass could all cheers you with them. Do you want a glass Rice. of like, cider or something? <laughs> sure, but okay. cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You're going to be editing this part into the video, right? Yeah. That's, this is pretty meta. meta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty meta. Hi, future me. <laughs> Hi, future That's me. meta. Do you have anything to tell future you? The food was really yummy. <laughs> if you guys don't you know remember. who, if you guys don't know who this is, she's the one who makes the bomb edits on our channel. This is my sister Emma. Oh my goodness! He smelled our, our yakitori grill. Oh my! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my! Oh. He was like, "Get That's out of here! Get out of oh, here!" Don't be swamp curl! Get don't be swamp curl! Good girl. Oh, good. <laughs> good girl. Come here. Come here. Don't eat it too. <laughs> Any Sprinting other pet in. owners? <laughs> Any other pet owners relate? <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating? Get out of there. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> this looks so good. Y'all. Okay, this fish looks like it's just about done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the whiting looks done. Look at that. Ooh. Here, this one's for you. Well, you thank you. Stuff. And then we've got a blue fish. Mmm, that looks so delicious. Mmm, I smell its blueness. It smells blue? <laughs> it smells blue. <laughs> And the other one smells white, like a whiting. What does white smell? It smells like whiting. Okay. If you ever wanted to know. Well, how about you try first? Oh my gosh, that fish looks good. It looks almost smoked. It does. It is kind of smoked. It's been cooking for a little bit. Okay. I try that whiting first. Like it just really came off the skin so easily. Whoa. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good, it's huh? Really good. I kind of wasn't expecting it to be that good. <laughs> well, you love whiting. Whiting is your favorite fish, one of your favorite fishes to eat. It's really cool. All right, try the bluefish. Oh, Kira, what are you doing? She's like nudging me with her hand. With her... <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Which one is that? Whiting still? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sucking on the rib bones. Mm. Ooh, Emma's putting that beyond beyond burger on here. Alright. Let's see that. that is it beyond or impossible? Uh impossible. Oh, my favorite of the two. Mm-hmm. Look at how this blue fish is coming off. Wow. <laughs> really good.
really different than the whiting. A little firmer? Mm hmm. Definitely firmer. Not as soft, not as tender. Still delicious meat. So fresh. Look at how it's just coming Yeah, bluefish is day. about to be a hot commodity because there's only a limit of three per Whoa. person now. Take veggies off before they over before they burn. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, these potatoes look like they're done. Mm. But I have to say, my heart belongs to whiting. Whiting. <laughs> okay, mm. I gotta try. I gotta try. Whiting's first. And it's nice to cook it this way because you just peel off the top and you leave the skin on the bottom. Whoa. Extremely tender. Extremely soft. The whiting? Mm -hmm. I almost thought it was raw. It's not. It's perfectly cooked. Oh, wow. The charcoal flavor. Mmm. -hmm. I love it. Let's give the bluefish a try. The bluefish is meatier. That's for sure. Mmm. You taste how they're different, right? Mm-hmm. It's definitely chewier. I hear you crunching. What are you crunching on? It's not crunching. That's not crunching. Okay. There's nothing crunchy in it. Okay. Does it sound crunchy? A little bit. It's not crunchy though. Mmm. <laughs> Does it sound really crunchy? Maybe it's just your teeth. <laughs> it might just be my teeth. Delicious. Anyway. I like the whiting more. Yeah, me too. Mm. What a beautiful summery evening. This is what summer in Florida is all about. Yes, sir. Wait till we do a, a crawfish boil. Oh my goodness, mm. I can't. A crawfish boil and a fish fry. Well, I think it's time to get more stuff on the charcoal. And I think this might be where we say our goodbye. Right? Thank you guys for joining us for dinner. But we gotta get cooking and we gotta get eating. Yep, we really appreciate you guys. Honestly, this kind of meal takes like hours to eat. So we're gonna we're have to put the camera gonna. down for a second and really start cooking it now. Yeah. See you guys next week.